Um, Adriel, you, uh, you hit nine of 11 free throws. I think it's got to be the best you've ever done. You also hit a three-pointer career high. Just, uh, just were you feeling it tonight, or kind of what, what what got into you tonight? Uh, a, you know, coach was down us all week ever since. Well, really before the Texas game about making free throws. So I, I stayed in the lab working on my craft. And I, while I was shooting free throws, I was like, let me go and add something else to my game. So I started working on my mid range. Started working on my, you know, my three-pointer, and it just carried over into the game. Um, you never hit it. What was it like to hit your first three-pointer? I hit some in high school, you know. <laughs> but that's high school. But then again, you know, it's it, when you work at it, it, you know, you don't think at it. You don't, you don't think of it like that. As for Mason, just watch it. Adriel shot the ball pretty well the last two games. What's it, what's it like just to, to watch him have success in, in that area? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's good to see because um, – Coach didn't build the confidence in him to let him shoot it in practice. So if Coach A let you shoot the uh, let let you shoot the ball in practice, that means like he wants you to translate to the game. So Adriel just been working on it and working on it every day. So it's good to see him have that confidence in the game to be able to knock that down. So him getting that is just building more to his game. I guess both kind of what was said at halftime when y'all jumped jumped them eleven nothing, but don't let them hang around. I mean, what was kind of said afterwards? Uh, we were trying to like to turn the energy up. You know, uh, our fans wouldn't kind of get into it. We had to get our fans into it. You know, kind of get into the Razorback basketball, getting up and down. So that was kind of like the main talk, and just basically making free throws. You know, we make our free throws. We we score more than eighty. You know, so yeah, it would be mostly hard on us about free throws and getting our fans back into it and running up and down. Oh, Mason, uh, not only the game high 21 points, but eight rebounds as well for a game high. You did that in junior college. You put up the rebounding numbers with the scoring numbers. How did you feel out there kind of helping the team at both ends? Uh, Coach A always tells me that I can bring more to the game. So I know that in junior college, I love, like I started to love the rebound. So I already knew I had to score. So I wanted to add something else to my game. So rebound is just has like I just been working on it extremely hard in practice, just making sure I help Dan and Adriel go rebound because I know as a guard, me being 6'5 with a good frame body, I know I can bang it with them too. So just me helping them out is just a good thing to add to the team. So would you even the smoothie? Um, the smoothie's great. <laughs> um, I think they, they cut it to nine with about five something left. And you guys really put the hammer down after that. Do you think they were worn out? What do you think you guys did to really you know, pull away big at the end? Uh, you, well, you know, that's when they tired in the end. In the second half, in the second half, that's when we that's when we gassed up. You know, we know if we you know if we got them down, keep our, we're gonna keep our foot on their neck and try to get as much as we can get while they tired. I mean, did you kind of sense they were wearing out? Oh yeah, yeah, we we kind of sense they were wearing out. Kind of like midway through the second half, we seen them. They, they were kind of harping at each other. We was just okay. That's that's right where we want y'all. A yeah, tough loss in El Paso, so can you guys explain what it was like coming back home to Fayetteville and what it was like to play in front of your home crowd? Oh, it's lovely. You know, ain't nothing like Bud, especially coming back off a of, off, off a tough L. You know, it's, it's, it's definitely a game we could have won, but, you know, like when we're here in Bud Walton Arena, our fans love us and we love them, so we got to put on the show every time we step foot in this arena. Uh, to be honest, I didn't know what to expect, you know. It's my first actually game in Bud, so just me getting back to Bud, hearing what – Adriel and what the team from last year told me about the players that was returning. I just wanted to see it for myself. I feel like my performance was good, but there's still things we can work on to get better. So it's a good first game for the, for us. I love Bud. I love Bud. You, you guys jumped out 11 nothing on them and obviously led the rest of the way. What, what do you think? What, what do you think keyed that that early uh, run that where you dominated the first about five minutes? Uh, for us, we we still. We still was kind of mad from the Texas game, to be honest with you. So we still we wanted to come out and make a statement right off the bat, just knowing that we lost a tough one. So it's just we were just so eager to get back out there and get a win for uh, for the Arkansas fan base. So it's going to be good. Adrio, it seems like just yesterday you got here, but now you're one of the oldest guys on the team. What has your role changed in the in the locker room? Uh, it's changed dramatically, like uh, just from being one of the youngest guys, still learning, still like trying to take heave of everything, and now it's just like a, a like a flick of a, a light. I'm I'm the I'm the oldest on the team. I come from being like just I ain't gonna say like the. The, like the last guy on the bench, but like kind of being like on the, the second role, the second team role. Now you roles change, more of a leader, got to be more of a vocal leader, more of a, like a, a like show, show 
type leader. And that, that's not, that ain't really been like how I've been, but now that it's my time, it's my role, I have to, I'm still learning too, so I'm still, as I learn, I'll teach them as I learn. I'm, I'll learn from them too as well, so. Yeah, Adriel, you're nine out of 13 from the field in two games, had a lot of jumpers, a three. You weren't really known for your perimeter shooting. Is that just off-season work, or what do you think has been the key uh, to that? It's definitely off-season work, preseason work. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely some, yeah, it's definitely something I've been working on. You know, a lot of long nights, staying up to 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, knowing that they got parties going on, but you got, you're making those sacrifices, just staying in the gym and working on your game, working on my craft, because I want to play this game for as long as I can play it.